Okay, so first question is, what was the single sort of event or thing that we did or or that you, single thing that was that you really enjoyed about this trip? Could be anything. I think the thing I enjoyed the most about this trip was when we were able to sing Dear Geistift for the older gentleman in Le for, that came from Leo Warden. And uh, that was a very emotional experience for all of us. And it reminded me what's so important about music is to have that emotional element, which made it amazing. And uh, what do you think that we, how do you think we're different? What, what's changed? How's the choir changed or think, musically or socially or? I think musically, um, We've changed because of the workshops. We've been able to be directed and guided from other well-accomplished directors, um, and th that's provided us with a lot of perspective and uh, difference. And culturally or personally, I think we've been able to truly experience a different culture and uh, understand more about how the world is in other places. And it's fantastic. I think everyone's a bit more mature, a bit more understanding, and uh, I think we all had a really good time. Okay, so tell me your name and your major and uh, what year in school, that sort of thing. <laughs> I'm Emily Dahl. Uh -huh. I am a Bachelor of Arts for Music at the University of North Dakota, and I'm a sophomore. My, Go ahead. My main instrument is voice. Okay, so tell me what the sort of single most cool experience for this whole trip has been. Well... <laughs> I just, I love the culture here in Europe. It's very, it's very different, and it's more laid back, more relaxed, and I like that. Um, I've loved touring these churches. Mm -hmm. I love singing at mass yesterday, mm -hmm. and this Our Lady Cathedral is just absolutely beautiful. And just, um, yeah, it's just more Yeah, it's been. A very eye-opening experience, Good. and I really want to go back to Belgium someday. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, that's it. So your name, major, that sort of stuff. I'm Nolan Weiss. I am a music education and music performance major. Um, and uh, so, what was the sort of single event, single thing that we did that was that you that you enjoyed the most? The one single sort of thing. single. Um, I think my favorite day was yesterday actually. Um, I got lost. The tour left um, before three of us got out of the out of the church and so uh, Brad and Emily and myself were without a tour guide and all of our friends and so we just went for a walk and we ended up taking getting to places that nobody else got to be uh, we got to see the actual city of Bruges, um, not just the pedestrian part. Um, it had uh, like the concert hall and the statues and uh, fountains and, and things like that. And it was just nice to actually go out and see things rather than go to the shop, go to the shop, drink at this pub, eat a sandwich here. It was actually seeing everybody and how they go about a day because until then it just seemed like everybody was on tour. And once we got there, it was, hey, this is how people live, and um, it's just beautiful out there. We had, we probably walked for eight, nine miles uh, out of the city. Um, it was great. So, what, uh, what do you think that we've learned on this trip? How, how has this trip changed you or us? Or? I feel that in any situation where a group of singers or other things um, are forced to spend time together, uh, that we grow um, whether we're doing any music or not just because when you're singing you just have a better sense of who the person is you're singing to next to um, and I think that's a big thing that we just grew because hey I know the person sitting to me not just this is who I'm sitting next to but who I sing with um, and as well as with that we had some pretty pretty sweet master classes um, and we learned to watch you more and uh, just ge in general how to make a better sound. Okay. Good. Thanks, man. Thanks. Uh, the whole thing? Name and everything? Go for it, okay. yeah. Sarah Ruth Dobson. I'm a sophomore and just a regular music major. Um, 
my favorite thing was probably when we sang together in St. Bavo Church, because um, there's a sense of unity, and uh, everyone was excited, and everyone really enjoyed the sound that we made, and uh, yeah, I just felt together for the first time. So tell me your name, your major, who you are, what do you do? My name is Emily Berkland, and I'm an <laughs> English, music, and honors major with a minor in nonprofit leadership. All right, and you're the concert choir. I am the current president of concert choir. Okay, so tell me what's the single event, the thing, one single thing that we did that you thought was the best or coolest or whatever. I think overall what I'll always remember the most is the homestays that we did with our both our families that I stayed with turned out to be amazing and it was something that I expected to be not amazing. I thought it would just be part of the trip. But to be able to be integrated into someone's home and to be accepted so warmly and for someone to really want to make you feel at home and to share everything about their lives with you and everything that they had and their food and their house. And it was just an amazing experience and something that I will really never forget. And what uh, what what did what do you think we as a group or that you have learned from this trip? I think the ensemble has changed a lot because one of the things that we've talked about a lot this year is trust in the ensemble and how much we need to trust each other and to trust the director. And when you're in a foreign country and you are in an unfamiliar performance space and you don't know what you're going to be seeing or how it's going to sound or anything really at all about your performance that night, you have no choice but to trust the ensemble and the singers around you and your director. And I think that's something that we succeeded in and it's made us a much better ensemble because of that because when we really trust each other, we are able to make more musical choices and I think that that really showed in all of our performances. Cool. Okay. My name is Kyle Ensel. I'm a senior choral music education major. What else am I supposed to say? That's, a, that's enough. Okay, so tell me, what was the single thing that we did that was the most interesting or, or that you enjoyed the most? Um, I really enjoyed the master classes that we did with uh, Hirtian and Dr. Thomas. Um, I thought they were really fun, I think, for everybody in the choir, especially me because I'm a choir nerd. But... Um, and what do you think that we've learned from this event? Um, I think that we've learned a lot about uh, singing in different spaces and different, uh, uh, what's the word, different, well, yeah, different acoustic spaces. I think that's taught our choir a lot about listening. Okay, picture. Okay, tell me your name. Peter. Yeah, what do you do? I'm just standing here. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think was the coolest thing on this trip? Um, the heavy suitcases, I love them. You love the heavy suitcases? Oh, yeah. Give me more. And what, what do you think we learned from this trip? Um, excellent beer. Excellent beer? Yeah. And nice churches also. Lots of nice churches. That's the best. So what, what, did you learn something from us? Did I learn something from you? Yeah. Uh, I learned... <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. All right, perfect. Good. Good. Have fun. <laughs>